So what is the impact of this break? And what everybody wants to know is what happens next? David Mikolajczyk is a meteorologist and instrument technician with the Antarctic Meteorological Research Center at UW-Madison. David, good to see nice you again. Nice to see you again. Yeah, good to be here. You've been to Antarctica a yep. handful of times. Yeah, five times. So how significant is what happened here? Well, the, this is a natural occurring phenomenon, an ice chunk breaking off an, of an ice shelf. Um, so on its own, it's not too um, outlandish, but it could have implications for the stability of the Larsen C ice shelf. And so uh, scientists are waiting to study that and see how the, uh, the glaciers that feed into this ice shelf um, react to the chunk breaking off. So this was not a surprise. This was expected to happen. Correct, yep. It, uh, the, the first crack from this uh, ice shelf was noticed in 2011, and so we've been able to monitor the crack as it progressed and changed um, by satellite imagery since then. And so we've kind of seen this coming for a while, and now it finally happened. But the knee jerk is it's climate change, all the ice is melting, and Florida is going to be flooded. Well, yeah. and even if it's nature, is it getting a boost <laughs> from climate change? Well, that's hard to tell right now. Um, and so we'll just see uh, whether we can discern any patterns from the climate and how that may have affected the crack as it progressed. But as it stands right now, it's just a natural occurring and, phenomenon. And this won't raise water levels because it's already floating in the water. Exactly, yep. yep. Sea levels are already taken into account. The, the amount of ice that is uh, floating on the sea. And so the way that the sea levels would rise is if the uh, more glaciers flow onto the sea from uh, off of the continent. But if a chunk of this size breaking off, is that any kind of an indication of what the future could bring? Um, I mean, is it sort of a, any kind of a signal about what's happening there? Yeah, well, it, there have been a lot of uh, uh, chunk or a lot of icebergs broken off from different ice shelves throughout the continent and there are multiple cracks that are already being seen and forming on different ice shelves as well so it's just another example of what can happen to these ice shelves so, and what is the uw studying down there well we our group uh, is studying the surface climate of or surface meteorology and climate of antarctica and so we currently aren't really studying icebergs themselves, but we did do some research with the largest iceberg that ever formed um, off of the Ross Ice Shelf. And this was back in 2000. And so we actually put an automatic weather station on that iceberg oh, wow. um, and, and some GPS and seismic uh, instruments. So we were able to track the weather as it moved uh, and floated throughout the sea and um, track its movement itself. So that was pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. fascinating. What a, what a, yeah, it is a fascinating land. You've been there five times? Yep. Do you yep. have plans to go back anytime? soon? Yeah, planning to go back uh, in December of this year. Oh, you're so. kidding, really? Why would you go in the winter? <laughs> well, summer there. Exactly. There it's, you go. it's our winter, there but there's summer, so it's <laughs> totally sunny. Mark actually had a good question. When this shelf broke off, would it have been very loud? Yeah, I mean, could you? I I wonder that too. Uh, I hope they had maybe had some microphones on it or something. But I'm I, sure I mean, some I'm researchers sure there's some maybe sound. did. That like was an, a good question. Like an ice cube yeah. cracking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably pretty satisfying. All right, David. Thanks for being with us. Interesting information. Great Thank to you. see you. Thank you.